so quick update um today is february 29th 2020 um i'm in my 350z today i have had time to work on my dotson um i did order a torque solutions torque shifter for my z um i've had it for like the longest time now actually it's in my freezer right now just so i could press it into this socket that you will be needing um here's a part number for anybody that's interested i think i got it off of amazon um, just because that prime shipping is just more convenient. Um, and I'm also going to be installing Z1 Motorsports brake cylinder brace. So I was kind of tired of looking online and seeing a bunch of these long videos on how to install this. Um, so I'm just going to get to the point. So you just take off your shifter. It's pretty straightforward. For um, non-HR or like o, I guess O2 to O5, um, once you have the different center console, I think it's a little bit different, but for these you just kind of yank up, pull this off. You have to undo the ribbon connection. Take this off. You undo, there's four 10 millimeter bolts all the way around. Once you get those off, I did have to pry at this with a flathead screwdriver to get this off. But I mean, that does come off pretty easily. And be careful because it is sharp. Um, I then took off these boots. Um, I believe it's a two-piece boot, but on my Z, um, I guess they've just been squeezed together for so long that they've just almost like merged into one piece, but they are two pieces. Um, you then get to this portion, and you kind of need to dig at it a little bit to be able to get this loose, but once you do, that exposes the was it, three 10 millimeter bolts. So I'm gonna go ahead and take those off and then I will update after that. So note for anybody else that's doing this, um, leave at least one of the three bolts, these guys, in one of the spots. Um, after, what I did was I took all three of them off and went in the car and figured out what was holding this on. There's a 12 millimeter um, head bolt that comes in this way. So from, for the left hand drive vehicles, from the driver's side in. So once you undo that, this guy pops out because there's a spring. It goes like this. So inside of the transmission, it sits like that. So once you undo those, my guy kind of just like popped out. I mean, it didn't like fly anywhere. I mean, it's still sitting there, but just a little bit easier in case you want to leave that. Um, keep in mind, pay attention to the orientation of how the shifter sits in the socket, um, saving you guys some trouble in case you have to lose track of it. There's a little piece cut out of the rubber tip. This should sit in this guy facing the passenger side, at least that way in my vehicle. Now the fun part is trying to take this boot off of the old shifter and then you do everything backwards. Um, the kit did come with a couple let's see, washers, and after looking at a couple other videos, it looks like I think it's those. No, it's nice. these guys actually go under the car, which is gonna suck. And this one goes this way, and the other one goes this way, and they're um spacers so you want to go ahead and put this under the car you can see in there that's where the bolt goes through that copper piece and these guys are kind of going to do something like this i think to space out that bolt so i will update but i think these bolts are actually going to go on the Yeah, they're gonna, let me go grab the other one, and I think these guys actually go directly on the actual shifter to fill in the space between on the inside of that, because there's actually like a, I guess a nut welded to, yeah, that you can kind of see it to that side, so I don't think that these guys would go on the outside of that. Let me go ahead and get a little bit more done, and I will update after that. Okay, so update, everything is bolted up. Um, it was a little bit of a pain to get the fork and the shifter bolted back up um those two washers that i was talking about do actually go right here imagine this is the newer one 
the torch solution, the two washers actually go one on either side. And that um, fills in the slack. Um, putting it on, it does feel a lot better, but once anything before I drive the car around, um, you do want to make sure that you can get into every gear. So one, two, three, four, five, six. At first it didn't want to go into six, but after you get it in gear a couple times, it's easier. Um, so you do need, just to recap, to take everything off, once you take everything off, it's a 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter on the top. Uh, where'd it go? This guy. Again, four 10 millimeters all the way around. The bottom bolt that goes from driver's side in, that's a 12 millimeter. To put these newer ones on, you need a five millimeter hex. And what else? And that's pretty much it. Um, you do need lithium grease. I used white lithium grease because I saw Anthony J350 use it. I figured probably knows more than I do. So then I bought that. And you also need that the new cup from Nissan. Here's the part number for that. And that's pretty much it. And then bolt everything up. Make sure you thread lock everything so that nothing backs out. And enjoy. Cool, so here it is installed. Um dang that was a pain in the butt to do. So all in all you need a 19 millimeter socket. This one here is a pain to take um, off and on, sorry, to put on. Um, these guys go on studs. I mean, this one here isn't that bad, but this one here, there's just no room with the AC line and here's your brake line. So that one's kind of a pain to do. You kind of need to move this guy around a little bit to get it to fit. And even just getting it to sit in there, it was kind of tricky. Um, but I know it's pretty easy. You need a 10 millimeter here and here and you take both of these off. Actually, I was kind of surprised to see. I never noticed. Because he already had um, a brace. And it looked something like this before. So the Z1 part actually replaces that. And it's a lot beefier. And again, you need just 10 millimeter. You need 10 millimeter to take these guys. Sorry, it was a 12 millimeter to take these guys off. 19 millimeter to put these guys on. 10 millimeter here, 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 here. And then a 19 millimeter. To move this one forward um the kit does come with two different bolts and it looks like the shorter ones probably for the g35 and the longer ones for the 350z so all in all i mean it was maybe 30 minutes to put it on if that just the hardest part was just getting it to fit in there i mean because you gotta be really careful i mean if you mess up your ac line it goes your ac or if you mess up your brake line i mean you have no brakes um i hope it's worth it we'll update in a couple weeks to see how i like it